Hi friends, my name is Umkar Jagdare and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about software engineering salaries in USA. And I'm also going to compare these salaries to civil engineering and automotive engineering or mechanical engineering salaries. Um, as I live in the Detroit area, these are some of the salaries I am um, used to hearing about, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with. So um, without further ado, let's jump into the topic. So I'm going to share my screen with you here so you can see what is really happening. OK, so so this website is called levels.fyi. But before we get a jump into it, I want to tell you the three different levels I know in software engineering. OK, now, usually if you are an average grad from an average university and uh, you're just getting into a normal city like Detroit or uh, Atlanta, or a Dallas area something like that usually you will make about I would say conservatively about 80 to 90 thousand uh, dollars getting out into a software engineering job so now these kind of job the what kind of companies are you working at so the companies you're working at may be General Motors or companies like Ford GM Chrysler uh, as I said you may be working at like mid Tier companies so these companies don't have crazy amount of profit margins like fan companies that's why you're making these kind of salaries now the bigger the city the more the income you make so if you go to a city like New York City or San Francisco or Los Angeles you will make a little bit higher income uh, the reason is because you know these the cost of living in the cities is a little bit higher so you're equally compensated so maybe your salaries if you are like in Chicago or Boston or New York City it may be hundred hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year right out of graduation but still you have not entered the fan companies that's where the game changes so let's look at this um, if you really see let's look at the software engineer salary at General Motors so this software engineer one at General Motors makes about seventy six thousand dollars a year his average salary um, his base salary is about sixty eight thousand nine hundred dollars and he gets a bonus of seven thousand dollars a year so look at that so this is an average salary in my opinion this is really good salary um, just to let you know 70 seventy five thousand dollars today in America is the new fifty thousand dollars so if you're not making even 75 for any matter of like any job with a master's degree um, you should question yourself like you should question the opportunity and you should also understand why they are not paying you that much because most companies are willing to pay $75,000 right out of graduation today. So I think this is good salary for a software engineer getting out of college from an average university. Okay. Now this is where the things change. So I'm going to talk about outliers, FANG companies, which is FANG stands for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Google, and uh, Netflix. So these companies pay much higher incomes than other companies so let's look at some of the salaries at these companies an entry-level software engineer at apple now if you really understand this the salary packages at fang companies are much more different than average jobs a civil engineer mechanical engineer or a normal software engineer at general motors will never get stock options and um, such amount of bonuses so this is where things change for example if you see this if you really see an Apple employee will make hundred and thirty thousand dollars of base pay now obviously in my opinion you know these salaries are in um, Silicon Valley so the cost of living there is a little bit higher also so don't think you're gonna get these salaries in um, Detroit area obviously these companies are located at you know much bigger cities and expensive ones so let's say hundred and thirty thousand dollar base salary you get twenty nine thousand dollars of stock so basically you'll get Apple stocks worth $29,000 and end of the year bonus you have about $17,000 and so that's for an entry level let's look at someone who has maybe 10 to 15 years of experience um, usually that kind of person makes about four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars you have a two hundred thousand base salary uh, you have a stock you have stock options of almost two hundred thousand dollars a year and a bonus of thirty seven thousand dollars 
and uh, now depending upon you know this may be uh, also your yearly bonus and at some companies they also give you a starting bonus of 50 to 60 thousand dollars just to start working there let's look at uh, someone who has been working at gm for 15 20 years now actually milford michigan is about only 30 minutes away from where i live and look at this so an average salary for someone who's working for 20 years is about hundred and sixty three thousand dollars folks now that is less than if you really see go here that is less than the salary of same person his entire salary is less than their only salary forget the stock options forget the bonuses it's actually less than stock option as well so if you really understand the difference between working at a fang company and working at a normal average company so let's look at the same salaries for an entry-level google employee so if you really see google employee about same base pay uh, like um, apple uh, they get a little bit more stocks here about forty thousand dollars and a bonus of twenty thousand dollars let's look at someone who has been working at google for about 10 to 15 years look at that so the average that's almost half a million dollars folks these are incredible numbers to be honest now understand one thing folks um, not everybody is going to be able to make it to these kind of jobs because the the bar is set so high that only a few people are able to get there only the best of the best so your skills are really on point when you get to a company like this so again let's look at facebook uh, from my experience i've heard that facebook is one of the highest paying companies in the silicon valley um, that's what i've heard from my friends but let's look at that so obviously you know for their e3 entry level uh, they have a little bit less salary than other companies they do give a little bit more stocks and bonus so that's about 180 let's look at so obviously google and google pays the highest of that but things change when you get into the higher levels if you really see here uh, an e6 with a 10 to 15 years of experience is what i believe will make about two hundred thirty thousand dollars base pay stocks were three hundred thousand and a bonus of fifty five thousand dollars folks so that's about six hundred thousand dollars so this is what I wanted to talk to you about. Obviously, if you really understand these salaries can never compare to civil engineering or mechanical engineering jobs, folks, because most mechanical or civil engineers usually make about sixty to seventy thousand dollars right out of graduation. And by the time, let's say you have about five to seven years of experience, you are barely making about eighty to ninety thousand dollars significant six figure incomes usually you have to put in 15 to 20 years by that time you will end up in maybe 120 to 150 thousand dollar ranges uh, depending upon city again but that's been my experience folks usually even if you are into bigger cities you may be only claiming 15 to 20 thousand dollars more for the level so let's say if you have 20 years of experience you're making 150k in michigan you may be only making 180k in san francisco area because at the end of the day you have to understand that the profit margin in a civil engineering company is about 10 to 15 percent whereas in software companies at some cases it's almost more than 60 percent and that's why they are able to reward their employees much more better now, the reason i'm giving this information for you is just to understand where things fall in us and you can make a decision today knowing this that which degree you want to pursue what you want to study in america because understand one thing folks um after maybe three months four months or six months or maybe two years of working at your company your love affair with your company usually ends after that what keeps you motivated is the opportunity the income and the track you have for next five to ten years in your company so i would say make your decisions wisely um, think about what is really the path for you and what you really want to do in life um, and that's what my recommendation to you but i think that's pretty much what i had for you i enjoyed talking to you and i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye take care